you're a student, diba? And you're asking, how do I overcome challenges? Or how do I excel in class? Yes. Ayan. So, this episode is it's for you! you. <laughs> yeah, and so, we will tackle the, the six tips on how you can excel as a student. Milty lang yan! Excellent tip number one, begin early. We have to avoid cramming. Yan, isa yan sa mga ano natin, yan diba? Yan talaga pag, ano, diba? For a month ago, binigay, tapos two days or one day before. Saka ka pa. Saka mo gagawin. Oo, yung exam na. We're all guilty of that. <laughs> you are guilty of that. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alimbawa, exam mo na, ano? Exam mo, alas 9, mag, ayun, nagigising, alas 3 ng madaling araw, mag-aaral. Ayun ka? Hindi, ikaw, siguro. <laughs> Pagdating sa exam, Hindi talaga ako magigising. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yun, is life. Yun yan. If you wanna excel in class, huwag gayahin to. Uy, uy, huwag gayahin. Huwag tayo makunagawin. Pero nakasabit. <laughs> Ayan, you have to begin early. Kung may mga project, you start early. See, the good thing, if you start early, hindi ka nagmamadali to finish a task. So, if you have all the time, masarap kaya yun na parang natapos mo na lahat sila, nagkakrami, ikaw nag-chill-chill ka na, doon ka mag-Facebook pag tapos nga. Wow. But begin early. Excellent tip number two, manage your time well. Mm. So yeah, ito yung prioritize what is important. So naalala ko, nung college ako, hindi ako pabodging. Ngayon lang ako bodging kasi quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> so nung college ako, uh, meron talaga akong court board. Sa pad ko, nilalagay ko sa pad ko. Or nandun yung important but not urgent, urgent but important, meron ganun. So meron dito not urgent talaga or not important. So nagpa-prioritize na talaga ako. I mean, important stuff to do. Kasi syempre, pag college ka, ang dami ng to-do list, mar- ang dami ng dapat gawin. So makawawala ka minsan or may makakalimutan. Mm-hmm. So it's important to prioritize what is what you have to do. Okay. Um, Before ka mag-happy-happy dyan, ay mag-aral muna. Gawin muna yung... Or um, baligtad. Happy-happy muna bago <laughs> aral. <laughs> so, hindi ko na wag kayo makinig dito. Pag may ka na lang. <laughs> so yun nga, before you even enjoy, you know, manage your time in a way that you accomplish muna what is necessary. Yeah. And then, what is important and what is urgent, you do that. Then after, saka ka na mag-enjoy. So manage your time well. It is important. Why? We're building a character here. Kasi pagdating, pag halimbawa, pag graduate na, nagtatrabaho na, importante yon. Lalo na pag maraming workload na binigay sa'yo yung uh, superior mo. So you really have to, you know, you really have to handle your time well. So it is a good uh, training ground for you already while you're in high school, grade school, or college to really, you know, be responsible of how you handle your time. Excellent tip number three. Study when you are most active. Ayan. So, tignan mo, what kind of ano what kind of person are you are you a night owl or are you an early robin so yung night owl is you are more active at night so mas mas sharp ka sa gabi pag early robin naman yung mga stress na madaling araw mas mabilis kang makakonsentrate mas Inisip mabilis kang ano ba ako stage where in you look into yourself ano ano klase ba ako you know you you assess yourself ano klase ba ako mas saan ba ako mas productive di ba so if you think that you are more productive at night mas nakakonsentrate ka talaga then do all the hard stuff there. Yung mga project mo sa gabi na tahimik, wala nang maingay, di ba? So, pag gabi, busog ka, kakakain mo lang, di ba? So, ayun, gawin mo na yung mga projects mo, mag-aral ka na, mag-memorize ka na, mag-study ka na. If you're an early robin naman, na umaga ka talaga, then you wake up early. And so, yan na yung mga mahilig talagang mag chocolate in the morning or mag-coffee in the morning. So, what do you mo? Don't study when you're sleepy or if you yeah. are distracted. Yeah, no, no. It has to be a time where you're at the most sharpest, di ba? Na kung saan ka sharp, dun ka. And then, yun, it takes figuring out. We won't be able to say, hindi ko masasabi sa'yo, mag-aaral ka sa gabi kasi that's good for you. No, you can um, only assess yourself. Assess yourself. Oh, so, tignan mo where you are most active and then doon mo i-gear lahat ng concentration yeah. So, what if gusto mo talaga mag-study pero wala ka talaga sa wee show na mag-study? Ano ba ginagamit mo dati? Ah, nagka-copy ko ka ba? Yun yung uso <laughs> ngayon eh. Yung copy ko? Oo. Oh, oh, na candy? <laughs> <laughs> copy ko na kape? Meron ganun. Uso ah, ngayon. Ka wala ka na kasi doon. Oh, oh. So, meron silang mga copy ko drinks na ang, 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 ano, ang strong. Ah, na. talaga? If you can go as natural as possible, do that. Uh, I try it. lang muna, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent tip number four. Set yourself up for success. Ayan. Dito na tayo. Ano ba yung makakapag-contribute para mas makakonsentrate at makafocus ka ng maayos? 
Magandang Wait. music ba? Anong gusto mong sabihin? <laughs> yung magbo-boyfriend. Oh, wag na muna yan. Wag ka muna dyan. Boyfriend, boyfriend. Minsan na, ano, ano daw yung uh, ano, inspiration daw yun. Inspiration tapos kung naghiwalay, kung nag-away. So, hindi. Hindi. Sing-sing. Dapat. Sing-sing. 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 Hindi. Mahal natin si Danny Boy. Yeah, Danny Boy. Danny Boy. Ayan. Uh, tapos, mm-hmm. yun nga yung sinasabi natin na you have to um, surround yourself with things that will help you concentrate. So, is it a good music? Mas nakakoncentrate ka ba? Dim lights or bright lights ba yan? Diba? Or dapat tahimik na tahimik ba? Malinis at organized ba na kwarto? Para ah, maka- support from your parents din. Kasi syempre, oh, oh. ikaw nag- nag-rearrange ka dyan, tapos yung nanay mo nagulat. Ay, tato! Uh-huh. Ah, support from your parents. If you yes. want a dim light, pabili ka ng dim light dyan para naman sa studies mo yan eh. Uh-huh. Diba? Uh-huh. Ask uh-huh. help from your parents. Yes. Um, so, yun, importante yun, to have as less distractions as possible para naman makakonsentrate ka talaga, di ba? So, walang ibang makakatulong sa'yo kung hindi yung sarili mo lang. So, see, yun nga, um, this is a journey. Being a student is really a journey of you getting to know yourself and really building habits for yourself that you will carry when you are, when you work, when you start up a business already. Mm-hmm. Kailangan mo itong mga characteristics na to eh. So, with this one, self, set yourself up. Ano ba yung what makes me happy? What makes me concentrate? You know, what what makes me be more productive? Yun yung gagawin ko. Yun is susurround ko yung sarili ko doon. Yun na feel mo. Feel na feel ko talaga. Alala ko na si John. Oh. Ay, ano ka kasi, di ba? Ano ka talaga dati? Thriving. No? <laughs> Dunan, gusto ko na doon. Stalaya ka dati. Ayaw. <laughs> Alam mo mga ganyan pang mga scholar. <laughs> Ikaw mga scholar ka. Mga scholar ng nanay-tatay mo. <laughs> Ay, kapatid natin. I mean, she's, she... She likes to study. Mik Mik likes to study at night. Gusto niya yung tahimik na. Siya na lang. Oo. Oh. Oh. Si Xing Xing naman. Hindi ko alam. Nagsa study ko si Xing Xing. Uy, nag-aaral si Xing Xing. Nakita mo yung ano niya, yung study. Hey, first order oh. pala si Xing Xing. Oh. Excellent tip number five. Try different learning styles. Uh, we all have different learning styles. So, merong iba na isang basa lang memorize na agad. Diba? Meron namang iba. Kailangan talagang basa-basahin. Yes, ahead. I know that eh. Mahilig talaga ako ng basa. So, I read ahead. Mm-hmm. So, binabasa ko talaga. And then, I write down. Sinusulat ko siya sa sa notebook. Uh, o, oh, kung ano yung ano ko, ikaw ba? Ano same day ng strategy na nag, hindi ako mahilig magbasa. <laughs> pero, pag nagbasa ako, yun yung note down ko siya. Like, uh, highlight and then write it down. Okay, nagbe-memorize ka. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, diba? Ay, ipakumpit. Ipamemorize mo ko, pero huwag mo ko ipakumpute. <laughs> oh, kasi yun naman yung future partner niya, kasi ipakumpute to. Uy, <laughs> gawin mo na naman ako mag-budget sa Excel sheet kasi yun, ano na, may formula. Okay, so, we all have different learning styles. So, see what works for you. Are you the reading type of person? You have to read it all over, like, over and over again. Are you the person who really likes to write everything down? Or are you someone who likes to memorize, di ba? So, tignan mo where, ano yung style na fit para sa sa'yo. And then, kung ano yun, dun ka mag-concentrate. And then, also, you know one thing, like, what's your learning style? Tignan mo rin, when you look at your teacher, a lot of them are very good teachers, you know? Yeah. So, one tip as well is you also look at their learning style. Ano ba sila? Are they the type of a teacher na maano ba sila? Ma-multiple choice ba ito? Uh-huh. Ma-essay ba ito? Or word per uh, word? Per word, yun, yung, word? yun yung tinuro mo sa akin, di ba? Na know your teacher. Kasi meron, di ba, sa, sy- syempre, iba't ibang professor ka na, nung college or nung high school. So, itong teacher na to, ma-essay to. So, I study depending on what type of teacher she is. So, essay. So, ah, ganito, memora- siya naman, multiple choice. So, memorize ka ng ganun ganun ganyan ng terms. So, sa kanya yes. naman is like, you know, a different ter- a yes. different teachers depende din doon yung style, style mo. Because I studied communication. Yung first rule talaga doon, yung golden rule is you have to know your audience. Mm. Ayan, know your audience. So, it's good. You can apply that to anyone. You know, you can apply that in your daily life. Kahit studyante ka. So, know your audience. Sino ba yung teacher mo? <laughs> Anong klase ba si teacher? <laughs> diba? Pwede mo ma-apply yan doon. Or, Kung sa estudyante ka, you want to excel, that's, that's, you know, you can apply that. Kung love life naman, kung mag-side bit tayo yung saglit, mm. know your, ano, know your audience. Anong, sino ba si boyfriend mo? Sino ba si crush mo? Kung crush mo, ay eh, mahilig pa lang, gusto niyang matalino. Mag-milk tea, pa-deliver mo ng milk tea. Ba, shishin. Ano ba ang gusto ng, ano mo, ng, ng mga, ng pinupus, pinupusuan, tama ba yan? Mga bisaya kasi kami, <laughs> <laughs> minsan, hirap. Ang <laughs> You know, you have to know, 
kung sino yung kausap mo, kung sino yung um, kinikater mo, okay din yun. That's, that's a good approach. Yeah, I've been teaching you that ever since. I've been doing that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kahit na yun, ano ba? Oh, sa customer oh, mo, client mo, know, know your audience. Oh, last but not the least, reward yourself. Yes, importante din yan. Set goals for yourself. For example, in this day, sinabi natin kanina, as you manage your time, you might want to have a checklist, may planner ka, or merong to-do list ka na maliit lang na post-it notes dyan, tas ilalagay mo. On this tonight, what I will do is... My episode number one. <laughs> oh, episode number one. Finish episode number one of K-drama. <laughs> Hindi. For example, like, uh, math assignment, di ba? Or number two, um, begin the project on, on, for example, physics, di ba? So, you already have a target. And then, sabihin mo, if I get to finish two of these tasks tonight, mm, maybe I'm gonna reward myself with uh, magbabrowse ako sa Facebook mga five minutes. Uh, di ba? So, you celebrate each step that you make. Ayan. Kasi it's also good pang pag-boost yun para sa'yo. Uh-huh. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to reward yourself with material stuff. Things that are joyful to you, such as, ah, mahilig ako mag So, matapos ko lang tong assignment ko na to, mga 15 minutes mag-gitara. Uh-huh. Yung nice ganun, di ba? Oh. Or, for example, andyan yung pamangkin mo. Parang ikaw, man, naka, na no, ha? Sige, okay, one hour with uh, my pamangkin. No? <laughs> diba? So, so, these are things that you have to to do because it will motivate you. There has to be joy in what you do. Kasi if you are joyful in what you do, mas madali mas, yun. Oh, no? Mas, mas nagagawa mo siya ng mabuti din. Yes. You're, you're joyful at what Correct. you do. Correct. And if you want to reward yourself also and you're, you're grateful that, ah, okay, natapos ko na finally. Also, you know, if you are, if you're someone who is, who has a strong faith and relationship with the Heavenly Father, you raise a prayer, di ba na parang, thank you, Father, natapos ko yung ano, tatlong assignment ko, then now, move on na naman ako. So, As a student, ano ba yung mga major problems na na-encounter mo dati? Teachers can be a challenge, you know, your, your classmates can be a challenge, the workload, the subject can be a challenge, di ba? But then yun nga, it is it is all about you overcoming yourself ultimately. Yung sarili mo kasi it, it's a battle within yourself na parang you're not happy or you're uneasy, di ba? So, one thing you do is, yeah, you take a step back and then you say, you know, I can do this. You mean, oh, isipin mo lang talaga, I can do this. This is a little bump on the road, I can do this. Because I know what I want. Alam ko kung ano yung, alam ko kung ano yung gusto ko in the end. And that is to pass and that is to overcome and that, that is to accept in what I do. For example, in this subject, di ba? Um, there's meron kaming sisters na who are still studying. Si Mik Mik is studying civil engineering and si Xing Xing naman is still in her graduating grade, graduating grade 12. Grade 12 na siya. Oo. So, you, you will have challenges in your life but then yun nga, you have to bounce back. You have to stand up. But then, as you go through this journey, it is important that you strive to excel. Not to please other people but to, you excel for yourself because you say you know this is going to be this is going to make me a better version of myself yeah. you know during hard times then make mm-hmm. um, find your motivation yung na- nakakatawa ano mo <laughs> kasi si me mi- kasi uh. civil engineering is so hard mm-hmm. i mean it's hard kasi nga engineering maraming math computations and all yung lagi niya iniisip is nakaya nga ni po yung graduate ng college kaya ko din <laughs> nakaya nga ni FM graduate ako din <laughs> Oh, why not? Diba? Diba? Kaya nga ni Kuya, why mm-hmm. not? Diba? You listen and you you think of people who made it yes. in life. Diba? So you, you overcome yourself. Yeah. And we hope you do you, you do that. Mm-hmm. Um, as a student, we know we have been through that. It is a challenge. There are some times na parang kaya ko pa ba to or hindi. And I am here to tell you, MM is here. Kiraya nga niya. <laughs> you can do that and you can excel in school. Regardless of if it is easy or it's hard, you know, yeah. you can excel in school. As long as you have this um, concentration, you have this drive in you, you know, to really get whatever it is that you want. Because I tell you, there are stuff that you might not want to do. Ayoko mag aral na yun eh, or ayoko ayoko pumasok na yun eh. But in life, there are things that you have to do because you really need to do it. Mm-hmm. So this is a habit forming for you as well. And we hope that you can 
apply this in your diet. So there are six tips, again, we go back to the six tips that um, students can do in order to excel. So number one is begin early. Yes, prepare in advance, study way ahead. If you have project, do it as early as you can. Yep. Number two, manage your time well. Yes, learn how to prioritize so you can do checklists, meron kang to-do list, may planner ka, wherein you lagay, ilalagay mo kung ano talaga yung pinaka-importante yung kailangan mong gawin. And then you concentrate on accomplishing that first. Yes. yes. Number three, study when you're most active. Yes. Are you an early robin or are you a night owl? Tignan mo kung saan ka mas productive and then dun ka mag-concentrate, dun mo ibuhos lahat ng energy mo to finish and accomplish that task. Yes. Number four, set up yourself for success. Yes, kung ano yung makaka-contribute para mas makakonsentrate ka talaga sa pag-aaral mo, do so. Is it a good music? Is it a uh, uh, beautiful lighting? Diba? Yeah. So do that. Do whatever that will um, be make you joyful sa pag-concentrate uh, mo sa pag-aaral mo. Yeah. Number five is try different learning styles. Yes, this is where you know yourself. Get to know yourself. Ano ba talaga ako? May a reading person? May a memorization person? Ano what kind of person am I? And then do and do and then do that. And then also learning style, not just for yourself but also for your instructor, your professor, my teachers. Mo. Ano class yung pasila? Um, are are they a memorization type or ano class? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. And then yeah. Number six is reward yourself. Yes, this is the most important thing. Whether it is about you browsing through Facebook for five minutes or playing the guitar or listening to music, of course, at a limited time naman, but it's good when you celebrate your success because this motivates you to go again and, you know, um, to go again and tackle another adventure at a more energetic pace. Ayan. So, we hope these tips help you somehow. Kung ikaw, students, we really hope, I think, and I believe that we are meant to excel in life. That's our calling to be the best version of ourselves. And I hope those tips were useful to you because it was use it is useful to me now. <laughs> that was because I'm working now but these tips are also applies to me. Yes, yes. very nice, very nice. Alright, so we'll see you again on our next video. Thank you for watching.